Some people get so fascinated with doing agriculture, uh, as we humans are good at doing, that they forget there's already plants here in the forest and that they have a lot of utility. So before we go ripping up plants and spaces and planting what we think should grow, it might be good for us to pay attention to what already grows here, what wants to be here and is perfectly healthy, and how we can interact with that plant and use it or encourage it or whatever we need to do. I certainly don't want to see the plants that grow here natively as weeds. They're not. Uh, we have arnica here, that's a great plant. Uh, we've got a whole list, of, there's 20 or 30 other plants we've identified that have medicinal values or uh, culinary values. And some of, some of the, you know, as far as eating them, some of them aren't that tasty, it's true. But they're edible and they're free and they're organic. So uh, we have a book we're translating about uh, a lot of the native plants. Um, the trees are obviously useful and they provide most of the biomass here. So how can we use those? The pines aren't super edible. You can make a tea with their leaves, uh, the young uh, leaves. And uh, generally we don't do that, but we should probably. Uh, one of the more interesting options is the oak acorns. One of the primary food sources for indigenous people in all of the, the Americas, or North America anyway, was oak acorn flour. And you do have to treat it and soak it to get the tannins out, because there's a lot of tannins. Uh, but it's, uh, it's essentially flour just falling off of enormous trees. This is a underutilized resource. It used to be one of the most common food sources, and now it's not used at all. But we can reintroduce that. Uh, other plants are useful. Uh, they're native. Well, the rabbits like a lot of the plants to eat, so uh, that they definitely have their preferences. They have their favorite types of, of plants to eat. And uh, beyond that, we're still learning. Uh, the native tejocote is uh, good. You can eat the fruit. We choose to cut them and graft them and plant more, so the graftings actually provide us with the foods we really want. Um, but we don't know it all. We're, we're kind of trying to rediscover a lot of the knowledge that people who used to live here had, um, and a lot of their knowledge was forgotten during the conquest by the Spanish. So we're rediscovering that, and we're also pulling in knowledge from all over the world. Uh, since we can read about the scientific evaluations of each individual plant, we can start to collect what it can be best used for. Uh, some of them can make candles. Some of them uh, can be food. Some of them could be fiber. We can make uh, rope and, and things with native plants. So this is the process we're in. It's not going to end anytime soon.